Roger that. Heading to you. You got it! Not a good spot. I'm on move. Told me to what the fuck? What the? Help me! Help me! No time to hit like that. I'm on the move. Great fucking idea! On your six. My neighbor. What the hell? Hey. My neighbor told me the cult's trying to make more powerful drugs at the old conservatory. Well, that stuff already turns people into monsters. I don't want to think about what it could do next. Another dead pit. No mercy! You got it!
got your six. Where are we going? Hold still. It's supposed to say wrath, not rat. Sin. It must be exposed so it may be absolved if we hide our sin. We hide ourselves. You will not hide any longer. Your true self will spill out on this floor for all to see. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> if Muhammad won't come to the mountain, then bring the mountain to Muhammad. Let's begin! This might make your atonement easier. Our devoted. We are gathered here to bear witness. Are devoted. We are gathered here to bear witness. To those willing to atone for their sins. To those willing to atone for their sins. Will you, Nick Rye, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? Will you, Nick Rye? Oh, fuck. fuck that. No. I never given in to that psychopath. There it is. Greed. Always thinking of yourself. <laughs> your hand upon the word of Joseph. Will you, deputy, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. Say yes. It's just one word.
Mary and finish this.
away. Prepare my bunker. I am coming to join you. We will await the collapse together. you ever stop to think about that? Everyone thinks he's crazy, but he's not. Look around you. This world is on the brink. You can feel it in your bones. Look at the headlines. <laughs> Look who's in charge. <coughs> you want this key? Because you think you're saving people, but they are already safe. We had a plan. You don't understand. You don't believe. You don't care! 
May God have mercy on your soul. Keep 
started scrambling around. All the doors started closing, locking us inside. I, I, I thought I was gonna be down here forever. All, all because of him. Him. That fucking piece of shit! He would come down here and he would just stand there and watch. We were begging for mercy and he would just fucking watch. People down here with me. <clears throat> we are gonna get them out. And then we are gonna burn this whole fucking place down. Help me. Or stay out of my way. Come on, we gotta get to the control room. It's the only way we can unlock the rooms and free the others. The room 
rooms are grouped together by section. Damn it! It's safeguarded against a global lock release. Ah, I'll have to do one section at a time. We'll get down to the rooms and free the prisoners while I hit the locks. I'll radio you. Emergency doors are unlocked.
emergency. never seen anything like that before. <laughs> I knew he saved you for a reason. Hey. You gave us something back we thought we'd never have again. Hope. Whatever happens next, we're with you. Hey. That was a hell of a job, Brooke. The way I see it, you're the one in charge now. And if you ever need anything, just let me know. A seal has been opened. My brother John was loved by few. 
feared by many. Misunderstood by all. Except me. John was not born a monster. He was just a child when our family was torn apart. He was loving, kind, and full of joy. He was easily preyed upon. John was not perfect. And sometimes he was not even good. But he was my brother. And those responsible for his death will be punished. I promise you that. Hey there, Rook. Howdy, cowboy. You showed up just in time. You're setting quite the example. Don't think we could have taken back Fall's End without everything you've been doing. Most folk take one look at Eden's Gate and turn the other way. The ones that don't get taught a hard lesson. My dad was one of the first to stand up to him. Anytime the Peggy's showed up looking for trouble, dad would hop in his big rig and chase him out of town. He loved that truck. Called it the Widowmaker. And those fuckers stole it from him a week before he passed. Shit. You really want to piss off the cult? Get the Widowmaker back. Show the cult we're not just going to roll over and give the folks here something to cheer about. It's locked up under guard at a grain elevator east of here. But I think you're just the person for the job. Tattoo sloth on my chest. I got it hurts you. like hell. They do the same thing to everyone they get their hands on. I give thanks to the Lord every day for bringing you and I together. I'm glad you're looking to do more here. We need you. As you can see, John Seed's making a lot of people suffer right now, and quite frankly, I can't keep up. These people need me. They're my responsibility now. But that just means keeping tabs on the resistance is being that much harder. When you get a chance, head out east and check on our people at the Woods and Pig Farm. I haven't heard back from them in a couple of days, and that worries me. We can't afford to lose a single one of our fighters. Food from a can. <laughs> Whole valley's behind you now. I wish I had my guns. Play this game all day. This meal's the last thing you want to have fast. You know what this town needs? Balls. I'm dead serious. Uh, Falls End's annual testicle festival again. is a decades-old tradition. The testy festi is one of the few times the community comes together for what makes them happiest. Scarfing down cowboy caviar. This town needs a morale boost. And if stuffing Rocky Mountain oysters down your gullet don't put a smile on your face, then I don't know what could. Problem is, the festival's been postponed because of the goddamn cult. Now, I am not going down as the cook who failed to serve up huevos with a side of happiness. We're gonna do this. But first, we need to get the testy festy supplies out of storage. A young fella named Kenny's got them all locked up for me at the old bar. I'll start getting set up. You head over and get those supplies. Man, this is the most awesome game I've ever played. How's it 
gone. They've got my wife up at the radar station. I... I can't save her, but maybe you can. Please, I don't know what I'd do without her. <laughs>